I thought it would be fun to involve a little bit of Illustrator here. And oftentimes what I'll do, particularly when I'm working on layouts inside Photoshop, again, either print layouts or web layouts, I involve Illustrator and I wind up working with smart objects between Illustrator and Photoshop. And if you've never messed around with Illustrator smart objects inside Photoshop, you're in for a real treat. So before we get to all this, let me just do a little bit of cleanup here. I'm just gonna get out of my, my styles panel. We don't need him anymore, so you can close out of him. And as far as our layers are concerned, I'm gonna click on this upward pointing arrow right on the right hand side of both of my type layers and that will collapse them down. So things are a little bit more compact here. Okay, great. Now, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and launch Illustrator. I hope you have Illustrator installed on your computer. And I've already got Illustrator running in the background. So I'm just gonna flip over to Illustrator here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and create a brand new document inside Illustrator. So I'm gonna hit Command N here on the Mac or Control N on the Windows side. And it says a simple document here, eight and a half by 11 letter size. Go ahead and click on OK. And what I wanna do here is I wanna create, you know the text that often appears going all the way around the outside edge of a CD or a DVD? Oftentimes it'll have copyright information or whichever company is distributing the content, this sort of thing, right? So that's what I wanna try and set up here. So what I'd like you to do is head over to Illustrator's toolbox and grab your ellipse tool. And what I'm gonna do is simply single click anywhere inside my file and I wanna create a circle that is 116 millimeters in diameter. So I'll set the width to 116. Be sure to type in MM afterwards because right now Illustrator for me anyway is using inches as the unit of measurement. And a very cool trick in your Adobe products is if I type in one unit of measurement, for example, millimeters here and I hit tab, Illustrator automatically converts that to inches. So make sure to type in again, 116 millimeters. There we go. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. There's our circle. I'll switch back to Illustrator's Move tool or Black Arrow tool, and you can position this up a little bit if you like. You can zoom in on them. Probably a good idea to do so. I just hit Command Plus, by the way, or Control Plus to zoom in. OK. Now, essentially what I want to do here is I want to have some text running all the way around the outside edge of my circle. And in Illustrator, that's called type on a path. So look for your type tool inside your toolbox. And if you click and hold on him, you'll find a tool called type on a path. So go ahead and grab that guy and then bring your cursor right over the edge of your circle and then single click. And that essentially will let you type around the outside edge of an object, which is really cool. It doesn't have to be a circle. It can be any kind of an object that you create here in Illustrator. Very cool stuff. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna put in the copyright symbol. So I'm gonna head up to the type menu and then down to glyphs. And our glyphs are all of our characters inside the, the current font that we have. So I'm gonna have to look for copyright. Oh, I've already got them selected there. That, that's a, a, a lucky, uh, lucky guess on my part there. So you might have to scroll down just a little bit and look for your copyright symbol, double click on them, and that will insert them wherever your cursor was. Okay, perfect. I'm done with glyphs, so I'll close out of him. I'm gonna put in a space and I'll type in the cloud music company or music group, how about that? You can type in really whatever you want. I'm just kind of making this up. So copyright the cloud music group and I'll put in some kind of a, a copyright notice here or a rights notice. No part of this recording may be reproduced without it's kind of weird when you're typing, by the way, because I just used my backspace key and it's just like you're typing inside a regular word processing application, but you're typing on a curve. It's kind of bizarre. So all of your regular keystrokes apply as normal here. So no part of this recording may be reproduced without express written consent. Now, if you wanna continue typing in more text, you know, this material distributed by and so on, you can continue typing. And essentially what would happen is your text would wrap all the way around back towards the top of your circle, kind of neat. 
Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna take this content, this material, and I wanna copy it, and I wanna paste it into my Photoshop layout as a smart object. So I'm gonna go back to my Move tool, and obviously everything selects here, which is great. I'm gonna copy it, Command-C, or Control-C on the Windows side, head back to Photoshop, Notice that I have the topmost layer selected inside the layers palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste Command V or Control V. And I get this paste dialog box showing up, and Photoshop wants to know, do I wanna paste this as a smart object? Do I wanna paste as pixels? Do I wanna paste as a path or as a shape layer? Well, I wanna make sure that I'm pasting as a smart object. Go ahead and click on OK. All right, now here's where things get a little bit weird. And I think what I'll do is I will hold up here for now and we'll continue this exercise inside the next lesson.